Welcome to this next video, and this one is all about fuzz, or as the documentation refers to it, retro reflection. And this is useful for all sorts of things like fabrics and velvets, the fuzz that you get on the edge of a peach and fine powder and dust. So let me show you how this works. Here I've got this piece of cloth which I've draped across our Pixar teapot and I've coloured it with this dark blue colour. And then coming down to fuzz, if I start to increase the gain, you'll see that something starts to happen. So if I go to one, then maybe I'll go up to five. Now we all start to see, and again, I'll draw a render region around this, that's a bit quicker. So now what you can start to see is we've now started to introduce some white on the perpendicular faces of our piece of cloth. So if I increase this to 10, so you can really start to notice that on the parallel faces, we've got this darker blue, which is driven by this diffuse color. And then on our perpendicular faces, we've now started to introduce this white color. If I turn this to say something like red, you can really start to see this effect quite exaggerated. But this cone angle, what this does is it widens the angle of the effect of the fuzz. So if I go from eight to say 12, you'll now see that what happens is that our fuzz starts to come over from the perpendicular faces to our parallel faces. So we're starting to get much more of this red color coming through and less of this blue color. You can see here that if I increase it to 20, our perpendicular color is really coming through pretty much over our entire piece of cloth. And then what I can then start to do is then drag the gain down to compensate for it. Now obviously this is quite an exaggerated effect with the blue and then the red. So normally what happens is that the perpendicular faces are actually brighter. So if I just come here and I'm gonna put this back down to eight. I can put the gain up again. What I start to introduce back here is this nice velvety kind of look. So this is quite a nice little velvet shader. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you a few other things that you can do with fuzz. And the first thing you can do is you can plug in a bump map. So I've downloaded a texture, I've plugged it into the normal map. And then if I then just come here and I middle click and drag and drop my normal map onto my fuzz bump component. So now what you'll start to see is I've got this nice sort of denim bump map applied to it. So the next thing I want to do is I've gone ahead and I've created a pattern. So I'm just going to plug it in and then I'm going to show you how I built it. So I'm just going to plug it into the diffuse color like so. Let me just adjust the fuzz color one second. Like so. so. What I've got here is I've got this orange color and I've got this dark purple color. And I'm using this repeating R texture, which I've imported here, as the mask between the two colors in this Pixar blend. And that's pretty much it. So this is my diffuse, which I've plugged into my diffuse channel of my velvet shader here. So I hope this has been useful for you and a little introduction to fuzz. And like I say, you can do some really interesting sort of velvets and silks with it. So feel free to download this model from the Renderman Pixar website and yeah, have a little play and let's see what you can do with it.